Alrighty guys, what is going on? We are currently here at the arcade at the brand new Rick and Morty Clips and Chits. It is a Marvel coin pusher. It is made by LAI Games. It was just released um, at a lot of arcades recently. It was at IAPA too, but a lot of arcades actually got it really, really recently. So this is going to be the first gameplay on YouTube for me. I've actually played this game a lot of times off film. It is honestly one of my favorite coin pushers and that's saying a lot because usually I don't play coin pushers, but this is one of the best coin pushers ever. It's skill, it's luck. So we're just gonna get through it. You guys will see how the gameplay is as I speak, as I talk, because there's a lot of things going on, but we are gonna start, we are gonna put some swipes on this. We're gonna start with 60 swipes. And Rick is going absolutely crazy with all of the <laughs> phrases. <laughs> so we're gonna put 60 marbles on. Currently we only need two more lights. Actually, no, we need uh, three more. So if you guys see all of these square lights, you need to light all the lights to be able to spin the wheel. So we're gonna see if we can do it. And every time you get inside a light, you either get some marbles or you get some chips, which is why it's called blips and chits, the marbles and the chips. So whenever you get inside of a light, like the top ones, you get marbles and the bottom ones, you get chips. As you can see, it dispenses a few marbles right there. So we need uh, two more, I think. So hopefully we can get it. It's a really, really fun game. A lot of stuff going on. It's rather slow to get through your plays, unless you want a rapid fire. But like I said, this is a skill game, so you can time the marble inside of the slot with the buttons up there. So there's two different sides, and there are two different buttons down there. So all we need is that one on the right. It's kind of hard. The ones in the middle are really easy to get, so we did get it. So now you get to spin this wheel up here, and you actually get to control when you drop the ball. So yellow, you get a bunch of marbles, blue, you get a bunch of chips, and red is the super bonus. So we're gonna go for the super bonus, see if we can get it on the first try. And look at that, we got it on the first try. That is insane. So we got 500 tickets, obviously wanted to go for the super bonus, but this one actually needs one more for the bucket dump. And if you get it inside the bucket dump, it dumps all the chips on your side. It's a really, really cool feature. I really, really like this game. So we just got the jackpot on the first try ever as I'm filming this. It's really, really cool. So we got 500 tickets. So now all the lights reset and you need to get all the marbles inside of the lights again. So the ones in the middle, like I said, are really easy. And you also have this spaceship that goes around. It actually throws off the timing a little bit. So if you get it stuck in the ship, but I do believe if you light three of the lights inside of the ship, then you get a party time. I don't think we're gonna go for the party time in this video since it costs a lot of chips to be able to reload again, but all the values are double. So you can get more marbles and more chips, but we need two more already. Those are the hardest ones to get, the ones on the very bottom. So we got that one perfect and also close. And let's see, also close. There we go, we got it. All right, we're gonna go for the super bonus again, that red one, see if we can get it. Hopefully it rolls in there. And look at that, it rolls in there again. That's another jackpot, that is insane. That is so awesome. And Rick is going absolutely crazy. You gotta get Swifty. I, I love this game, honestly. LAI did such a good job with this game. It is really, really addicting. It is one of the best coin pushers I have ever played. And that's saying a lot about the channel. Because you guys know, we usually don't play coin pushers a lot. We have not played coin pushers in a very, very long time. So I did want to show you this. But it's very, very cool. Those middle shots are easy because you just wait and they fall right in. But like I said, those uh, black little things guide the, guide the marble. So if it goes to the left, the marble's gonna shoot off to the left. But like I said, this is a skill game too. I really, really like how they implemented skill in a coin pusher. That's what makes it a lot more fun. Because usually coin pushers, it's just like you spend money, you drop the coins and hope that luck's on your side. But again, we only need one more left. We are absolutely killing it right now. We only need one more. And, oh, that was so close. Oh, so close again. We have 24 shots left. We might move to the other side because the other side has one more for the bucket dump. I do want to show you guys that on video. This one, there's zero on both. So you do have to look on the sides on which one is better. And you can also pay attention to how many chips are on the play field. This one has a little bit more. This one has a lot though. It's a lot more than some of the usual machines, but 22 shots left. Oh, that was so close. Hopefully we can get it. Ah, oh, that dropped to the left. That one's really, really hard. The ones on the bottom are extremely hard to get. Oh my gosh, so close. See, this is why this game is so addicting because you could literally be like out of shots and you're one left and you gotta reload. 
This is why I say LAI did such a fantastic job with this game. It's like you almost never want to quit. Oh my gosh, that is so close. We're having so much trouble with this one, unfortunately. Hopefully we can get it. Oh my gosh, I'm way off now. And like I said, that, that spaceship uh, throws off your timing a little bit because it gets in your way. So there's so many variables on this. So like I said, we just got to wait till it goes around. It's got to throw off my timing. Try to get it in there. Oh my gosh, this one is giving me so much trouble. We only have 10 more shots. Hopefully we can get it one more time. Oh, so close. Come on. Oh my gosh, that was right there. Eight more shots with one more light. Hopefully we can get it in the last one. Oh, there we go. Wow, that bounced in. That was really, really lucky. All right, we're going to go for the super bonus again. Hopefully we can get it. So close. Oh, dang it. I missed it. But we got marbles. That's all good. But you do get a lot of marbles too. So we got 20 marbles. And push off a few of the chips. And there are the chip values right there. It's kind of hard to see. But the black one is worth the most. Uh, we didn't really get that many chips. But seven more shots. And I think we are going to move on this side. Because I do want to get that bucket dump on video for you guys. That would be really, really cool. Oh, uh, so close. So hopefully we can light a few more lights for the next time. Again, so it's all about timing. You can be patient, you can rapid fire, it's however you choose. So one more, and we didn't get that, but we lit up about uh, half the lights, so not bad. We did miss the mega bonus. It's not that easy, but the mega bonus one is a little bit smaller. The yellow one's actually a little bit bigger. I don't know if you guys can see, but obviously it's a lot harder, and the marbles aren't really that much valuable. But we're going to move on to this side right now because it needs one more for the bucket dump. And it dumps the entire bucket. If you can get the light in the blue one, it dumps the entire bucket onto your side. Really, really cool feature. So we're going to load 60 more plays, four swipes. But like I said, you can swipe more, get more bonus. That's just like every point pusher. But four swipes gets 60 marbles, which is pretty good on this game. 60 marbles gets you a long way. And it looks like somebody already lit up a lot of the lights. There aren't that many more left. So hopefully we can get it, and hopefully we can get some, uh, some tickets on this. Uh, it looks like we need uh, three more. See, that's why I like. Sometimes you just gotta pay attention to which side needs the lights, but that's the fantastic appeal of this game, is that any side can be lit up or not lit up. But like I said, this one only needs one more for the bucket dump, which we're probably gonna get, because the blue one's really easy to time. Oh, so close. Those bottom ones are absolutely killer. We need two more. Okay, we got that one. And oh, so close. That last one on the bottom is really hard. They just bounce all over the place. See, that's the neat feature of this. It's so addicting. It's, okay, there we go. So we're going to go for the bucket dump and not the mega bonus. Uh, it actually spits the marble out on the other side. So hopefully we can get it. Hopefully I got the timing down. That should be it. There we go. We got it. So we just got the bucket dump. And look what happens. It dumps this entire bucket onto my side. So that one's going to dump just like that. Hopefully you all fall in. Oh, so close. And it also has a pusher up there, too, which is pretty cool. So it just pushes it back on the play field. Oh, nice. There we go. That was a, a decent bunch. Probably. Oh, nice. There we go. That's at least a couple hundred tickets. That is very, very cool. But since we got a lot of chips on the play field, now you kind of need more marbles. And there's, like, chips underneath the marbles. There are so many in this. There's, like, overflowing the machine. So whoever played got a lot of chips. Now we need a lot of marbles now so we can push all of them off. They're still falling. That is insane. So... They're still falling. We got 183 tickets. I wasn't that far off. So that was pretty good. Obviously not as good as the mega bonus, but it was pretty cool seeing that the bucket dump. And it also refills it back there, which is pretty cool. And it slides right out. It's pretty cool. So we have 46 shots to conclude this video. Again, shots go a long way on this game. It's a rather slow game, but it's very, very fun. It's not as fast as some other coin pushers, but I like that. I like the skill aspect. I like the aspect of the bucket, the marbles, the bonus, everything. It, it's such a complete game, and it, it definitely is a must-play coin pusher, any game at the arcade, for sure. Like, I've been playing this for a long time now. It is pretty good. So, there we go. Got uh, chips. That uh, middle one should be pretty easy because you just gotta wait till it's all the way to the left. So, hopefully right there. There we go. That, that got the middle one. The yellow ones are so easy to get. The blue ones are rather challenging i think once we get this spin we're going to try to go for the mega bonus on this side it's a lot harder it's different timing on every machine so hopefully we can get it down oh look at that that one hopped up that was that was pretty crazy we have 31 shots 30 shots oh it's so close there we go 
Oh, nice. There we go. All right, we're going to try to go for the red Mega Bonus again. Hopefully, I got the timing down. So, that might have been too late. Uh, oh, too late. That is all good. Again, the timing is a lot different on this side. Oh, we got more chips. I didn't want more chips. I want marbles. <laughs> so we just got 10 chips because I missed the Mega Bonus. But 27 shots. Hopefully, we can get another Mega Bonus on this. That'd be really nice. All right, zero left. Hopefully, it gets a good push. Yeah, not really. <laughs> But 27 shots left. I think we can get at least one or if not two more, depending on how good I do. Uh, not really too good right now. <laughs> this is why I love this game. It's, it's so intriguing. It's a skill game. It actually is rather difficult to time the marbles in there. Or not. There we go. All right. Now, as you notice, we only need the blue ones. I'm telling you guys, the blue, the blue ones are really hard. 14 shots. I think we can get it one more time, hopefully. Oh my gosh, I gotta focus now. Oh, so close. Oh my gosh, it, it's there. There we go, there's one. There's two. Two more left. Those are the hardest ones. Oh, there we go. And one more with five shots. There we go. All right, so that was a little bit late, so I gotta aim a little bit earlier for that mega bonus. So let's go right there. Oh, I got stuck. Oh, I got stuck. That is all good. Hey, we got marbles, that's fine. Yeah, this one, this one's a little bit different uh, for the timing wise, so I'm not really used to the timing on this one. But four shots and we are gonna conclude this video on the Rick and Morty blips and chits. We're just gonna aim for whatever. Uh, we got some more chips too. Hopefully it pushes a few more off. You wanna push a few more, push a few more. Oh, there we go, nice. That was, that was pretty good. Oh, there's a few more right there. They're the brown to fall. Oh, so close. So, nah, not quite. It's still adding up some tickets. We'll see how we got with four swipes. It's still counting. So, let's see. Hopefully 600. Yeah, there we go. We got 600. That's not bad. We got 614. That's not bad for four swipes. Again, I, I missed the mega bonus a lot of times, and we went for the dump bonus as well. But that is pretty good for a coin pusher. Again, this is the brand new Rick and Morty Lifts and Shits coin marble pusher, whatever you want to call it. It is a very, very fun game, as you guys can see. I'm definitely going to be playing this more. If you guys see this at any arcade, highly, highly, highly recommend playing this game, especially for me, because I'm not usually a coin pusher channel, but still a very, very fun, complete game. Thank you, LAI, for creating this fantastic, fantastic game. And if you guys like what you see, then please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe, and comment down below what you guys think about this game, and comment down below what I should play next, where I should go to next. I do these videos all the time. So hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video.